What's going on, Vault Dwellers? It's Top Ranking Noob, and I'm back at it again with another helpful video for Fallout 76. A few days ago, we got an update or some DLC as far as some crafting stations go for brewing new alcohol. Over the last few days, I've been doing Biv's daily quests to get new recipes. Today, I'm going to be showing you how well I'm doing on that. But hey, if you guys want to check out some really cool Fallout 76 gear, make sure you head on over to U4GM. I'm going to be putting their link down in the description along with a coupon code that's going to be saving you 5%. So a few days ago I posted a video guiding you through how to get uh, the crafting station for both brewing alcohol as well as fermenting alcohol. And of course that mission required you to meet Biv. Biv is a drunk robot in the basement of a tattoo parlor. Uh, what like, I've gotten quite a bit of questions since then about how you get additional recipes for crafting alcohol and the answer to that's pretty straightforward although there's nothing that really guides you to this unless you were paying attention to the main quest you can go back to Biv on a day-to-day -day basis to get a new quest I really thought that the party poster that you could get from the atomic shop or find at random train stations I honestly thought that that would give you at least a guidance to the daily quest but it really doesn't so you just need to remember to go talk to Biv now the daily quests seem to be given random recipes. I don't think it's the same for everybody, but of course let me know down in the chat as you watch this video. If you've gotten different recipes, let us know what recipes you've gotten as well as what effects they give you because I'm really interested in all the different recipes that are out there. With that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Also, if you do find this video helpful, make sure you smash that subscribe button and if you hit that notification bell, you'll be notified every time I have new uploads. Let's take a look at the, the recipes I've gotten so far. So the daily quest that Biv's going to give you is called the, the Tipsy Taste Test. And it's a daily mission. It's going to take you about three to five minutes to complete. Basically, it consists of drinking alcohol, killing something maybe, and then just turning the quest back into Biv. Now, this will take you a lot less time if you already have alcohol made. So my recommendation is to go through your existing rec recipes and make as much as you can, at least one of each item that you can craft. Because you never know what Biv's going to have you drinking that day. It could be beer, wine, spirits. If you have that ready to go, then you don't really have to wait for the fermentation process, and it's that much easier. Uh, on the first day that I got the quest, it was telling me to drink fresh whiskey. I honestly thought that it meant unfermentable or unfermented whiskey because it, that just seems as fresh as it gets is unfermented but I, I did drink the unfermented whiskey and it didn't do anything so even though it said fresh it still meant fermented any times it says fresh it means just something that you made yourself or you crafted yourself once I actually drank the whiskey, it just updated and all it wanted me to do is land a sneak attack on an enemy. Luckily in Morgantown, there's a lot of easy enemies to kill and it didn't have to be a melee attack. Range was fine. So once I drank the whiskey, I killed an enemy. All I had to do is go back and turn it into Biv. And then I got my mission complete along with my recipe of the day. Now, like I said, the recipe of the day seems to be random, so let me know down in the chat which recipes you've gotten so far, or if you are getting the same one. But the reason why I think they're random is because on the first day, I got a recipe for what's called a, uh, I, I think I'm pronouncing it right, lead champagne bellini. Uh, and in order to craft this, this, this drink... You have to, of course, go to the brewing station. It's considered a mixed drink, so it opens up a new option uh, for mixed drinks inside the crafting station. Now, the lead champagne Bellini seems to reduce fall speed, which doesn't really seem like all that great of a thing. But not only that, it requires vintage lead champagne, which is a recipe that I don't have yet. Thus, the reason why I think that this is kind of a random thing. Uh, so I don't even have the ability to craft this particular recipe. And that's why I think it's important to head over to Biv on a day-to-day -day basis, knock out this mission real quick to get these recipes. If you don't do this very often, you're likely to be stuck with a whole bunch of recipes such as this that you can't even use. Sadly, on the second day, the loot wasn't much better. I picked up the daily quest from Biv, and all it wanted me to do was craft a New River Red Ale, which I didn't have the recipe for, but I guess the mission just gave me the recipe so that I could craft it, which makes sense. But because it gave me the recipe for the mission, when I completed the mission, I was not rewarded with another recipe. So for day two, I got a beer, which I felt kind of ripped off with. 
And then on day three, it actually wanted me to drink a fresh new river red ale, uh, which I already had crafted because at this time I did learn my lesson. And like I said, for tips, I recommend keeping a lot of this stuff brewed in an inventory just so that you're ready to drink it when you get the mission. Anyways, all it wanted me to do was drink a beer and then go kill an enemy with a melee attack. Again, here in Morgantown, there's a whole bunch of low level enemies that you can just walk out kill real quick, and then go turn the mission into Biv. So my original intent was to shoot this video when I had some cool recipes, but it's day three and I got a recipe for another beer. I think it's a pick pickaxe pilsner. Nothing super exciting. So if you guys gotten some cool recipes, let us know what they are down in the comments. And of course, let us know what the effects are, because that's what I'm truly interested in. Uh, today is a new day. I haven't been able to do my daily mission because I did the last mission late last night around 10 o'clock-ish. And it doesn't seem to just reset on a specific time of day. It seems to be on that standard 20-hour reset timer that Fallout's been using. Nonetheless, I appreciate you guys watching and if you found this video helpful make sure you give it a thumbs up and we'll see you all next time.